there's some bear tracks. Looks, uh, looks like they're a couple weeks old anyways. A decent size one by the uh, depth of the prints. Yeah, I'm back here uh, where I caught a couple cats last year. Favorite little spot of mine. Walk on around the hill, see if we can see any more sign. Fox poop. Yep, appetizing. Back here along this old mine road. Really. This all been reclaimed. I had it set over here by see. You can see where I dug my traps out. This is a set something kept digging up. And my brother thought it was a skunk, but I'm convinced now it was a gray fox, so I'll prepare accordingly this year. Pretty day. It's probably, I don't know, in the 60s, maybe 70 if you're in the sun, but temperature's pretty awesome. said it before and I'll say it again. I absolutely love living up in here. It's off the beaten path. A lot of people don't care for that, but it suits me just fine. So what if you have to go out for things and it's more than, you know, a couple miles? I don't consider that an inconvenience. Believe it or not, folks, this is where the old railroad tracks used to run. They've been taken out for, I don't know, how many years it's been. Probably 20, 25. But they ran, oh, close to a mile up this holler back in this uh, little community's heyday. It's all gone now, just like with all the people that lived up here. Uh, the beeves have been up in here in years past. It's an old abandoned dam. I've been up in here ginseng I was last year. I'm going to walk on up through here and uh, see what's going on as far as wildlife. Boy, oh boy. You can tell they were in here. I never... Uh, we got an opportunity to trap this. Some guy from out of state was up in here a few years ago. I think they trapped up in here. That was uh, the last year I seen them, and uh, then I started trapping. So uh, this thing was active uh, two winters ago. But, uh, looks like they may have moved out. Amazing how they find these spots. There was a heck of a colony in here at one time. Well, there's another old dam. This one too was active, you know, probably the same bunch. I'm um, actually seeing a little sign back in here last year. Moving back around ginseng and season. The late fall. But uh, they're all gone now, looks like. And look at the down timber. Like I said, there was a heck of a colony up in here. Yeah, I'm still following where the old railroad tracks went. I'm going to keep walking this way for a little while. 
Yeah, I've been here a ways now, and I just love places like this. When you uh, can't hear anything but an occasional airplane, I mean, you're off the beaten path fairly well. I mean, there's uh, there's four-wheeler trails, and well, most of the logging roads you can't get through them on a four-wheeler. I do a lot of walking, and it doesn't bother me. But that's how you you get in these places where you don't have to run into anybody. It's the way I like it. I'm approaching opening up here. Uh, they logged some of this country. They cleared this spot up here and had to have a place to park their equipment. If I remember this was a little swampy. Let me walk through here and check it out. Old beef sign. Yeah, like I said, places like this makes you wonder. I mean, Native Americans traipse through here, hunting, trapping, maybe even fishing out of this little creek. And how many pioneers? The Beaver Ghost Town. Oh, I'd like to have trapped up in here when this was active. Oh, well. You can see where a trapper had a cubby set here at one time. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I'll probably trap up this way this fall. Try to do local beginning of the season and then start branching out on my longer line. I gotta get back to my four-wheeler. Yeah, I'm breathing heavy. Whew. Oh boy, four-wheeler's a welcome sight. Whew. It's coming up out of this old holler field here. Up through there is the old what I'm gonna call the beaver ghost town. <coughs> yeah. I'm gonna go get on the four-wheeler, catch my breath, and go pick my woman up. I think we're gonna take a few beers and go for a ride I'm back through there. Top of the old strip job and see what's stirring back there. Yeah, there's a couple of wild horses that run free up in here. People couldn't afford them, you know, to feed them, so they just turned them out. They seem to do pretty well up in here. I'm not sure who owns them, but there's more than that. I'd say there's maybe close to a dozen up in here. Well... There's some of the cattle and a few horses that roam free up in here. Cows belong to Stan. I'm not sure who the horses belong to. They like to travel together though. Let's go down here and uh, get around them. <laughs> they must be heading back on the hill. Go on, buddy. Get out of here. I think that is a racer. I'll find out in a minute. As I spook it. Hello. Go on.
No, that's pitted black snake. Well, I'm gonna have to run him off. We're getting ready to sit down here. We don't really want him or her for company. Not happy at all. Appreciate it if you would leave. Right, right there's bald rock. Up that way is a low gap. Takes you over into Middle Fork. Bear country is anybody that's keeping up with me. But you can see how how that is. They must have sprayed a defoiling over there. That's where the uh, high voltage power lines come through that used to uh, power the tipples up in here, but no more. Now they just power a few homes. So let me walk over here and get this other side. I'm not sure what those are, but they're pretty. So that's Metal Fork over there. We're up here on the ridge. We're around here at the end of a little strip mine. See the blackberries are blooming good. Be a good year for them. Yeah, me and my wife built up a fire out here on what's left of the woods. Logging and mining certainly takes its toll, but people gotta make a living. That's all in uninhabited down through there for several miles. It's like back through there. That's why we live here. Yeah, howdy folks in YouTube land, uh, sitting back here on the ridge with my woman. Just want to give you all a uh, cheers. And kids, don't do this. Ever. Later folks.